Hi guys. <clears throat> it is another spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times, we have made it to Thursday, August 3rd, 2023, up here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And, and uh, sitting here having my morning cup of Save the Planet organic coffee. And going through the mainstream media, you know, I did this yesterday. Uh, yet, you know, yesterday was World Overshoot Day 2023. Went through the entire mainstream media Rolodex of stories on Yahoo News. Not one mention of World Overshoot Day. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I guess what they're going to do is wait till tomorrow and look back. And, of course, I have gone through the entire Rolodex of stories, not one mention of World Overshoot Day anywhere on the mainstream media. And remember, uh, these algorithms, you know, they send me doomer stories. So, anyway, I have completely failed to find uh, one mention on the mainstream media, even with the Doomer algorithms at work, to mention World Overshoot Day. But it hasn't been a total loss because I have uh, <laughs> I have had a few chuckles here today. And I guess, uh, is this in any <coughs> particular order? I have to admit, uh, this one, guys, we have some serious losses to the planet. Influencer. You know, he's got this goddamn word influencer. I, I don't know if uh, if they ever write, the mainstream media ever writes a story about me. Am I going to be called an influencer? All I want to do is influence anybody to sterilize themselves. Okay. Uh, if, if one person has ever <clears throat> sterilized themselves <clears throat> in the 15 years or however long I've been doing this, uh, my life's work has been accomplished. Influencer who only ate raw fruits and vegetables dies. There you go. Uh, here is the this little uh, former former influencer. Uh, the little uh, the little vegan is dead. The world has lost another clueless fucking moron vegan. And, and not just any vegan. Th these are these goddamn uh, clueless fucking morons uh, who only eat raw fruits and vegetables. And and this clueless bitch, uh, on top of that, she claims she did not drink water. That she had not had a drink of water in six years. That she got all of her water from these goddamn raw fruits and vegetables. And, uh, and now she's dead. And uh, we wonder why. You know, my, my own niece went through a period of this fucking shit back when she was in college. And <clears throat> how old is that? How tall is that girl? I'm thinking five, six... And she got down to 86 pounds. Uh, of course, her tits disappeared. She stopped having her period. Uh, she went down, down, down. And I said she hit 86 pounds. And my brother was, uh, was saying, you know, what the fuck? Uh, do I do with this? That she's clearly going to die. Uh, and, and I said, and this was my idea, I said, it's pretty simple. I said, you're paying 
for that little idiot's college education, aren't you? And he, and he said, yeah, well, of, of course he was. And I said, well, it's quite simple. Uh, tell the little clueless moron that you're cutting her off, that the college tuition is being cut off until she weighs, I think I said 110 pounds. It might have been 100. It was either 100 or 110 pounds uh, that she had to uh, prove to him, you know, every month he wanted to see her uh, step on the fucking scales and, and weigh somewhere between 100 and 110 pounds. And guess what? I guess I saved her life. A vegan influencer seems to have died. <laughs> I guess, you know, seems to have died. It's <clears throat> unclear, I guess, whether she's dead or not. She seems to have died of starvation-related causes after eating only raw fruits and vegetables and not drinking water for years. Um, Russian influencer Zana Samsonova, better known as Zana the Arp, on social media died in Malaysia on July 21st after her friends and family begged her to seek medical conditions. Uh, do we have any quote? Uh, okay. This is, I, I guess, the, the only quote that we have from her uh, you know, in, in addition to only eating raw fruits and vegetables, primarily durian. Have you ever eaten a durian fruit and jackfruit, according to friends? The influencer also claimed to not have had any water to drink for years because she insisted she simply did not need it. Quoting the seemingly dead, uh, clueless moron, quote, I have not drunk water for the last six years. This is a common occurrence in those who are on a fruit diet. This is not something that I limit or restrain myself. It's just that my body does not require it. Close quote. That belief was, of course, incorrect. <laughs> oh, God. So, anyway, we can uh, kiss goodbye on this uh, clueless moron. Uh, raw fruit and vegetable. Vegan. One more vegan has hit the dirt. <clears throat> okay, but I guess the next two did not hit the dirt, uh, but I guess they hit the water. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start with this one. Mom, who apparently jumped off <clears throat> Royal Caribbean cruise ship near Singapore, has died. Family says, I guess she hasn't seemingly died. A, oh, okay. Once again, a woman is presumed dead after seemingly going overboard while traveling on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Um, this is Rita Sahani, six, age 64, was on a cruise with her husband when she suddenly disappeared from the ship. Uh, her husband realized his wife was missing upon waking up Monday morning. 
He allegedly searched the ship for Rita, but was unable to locate her. And uh, I guess the, you know, the little cameras that run 24 hours a day, the, the cruise ship is claiming uh, that the woman jumped. You know, th th these motherfucking cruise ships, I, I have said it uh, before, and I'll say it again. I wish every motherfucking cruise ship and every clueless fucking moron on these goddamn things uh, would go to the bottom of the goddamn ocean today. And the, the cruise ship industry. If you have to, if you have to look for the single most indefensible, uh, just, d d just monument to clueless morons is the fucking cruise ship industry. Uh, what? Let's see, do they describe this goddamn ship? Uh... Built in 2019, the spectrum of the seas is 1,138 feet in length and can carry approximately 4,800 clueless fucking morons. The, the vessel, which is described as Royal Caribbean's first cruise ship of the, quote, Quantum Ultra class includes 2,137 staterooms, 16 decks, dining options, and more. There you go, uh... But I guess we have one less clueless fucking moron who will ever get on a cruise ship again. Do we have a picture of this thing? There you go. There, there, there is no excuse for this goddamn thing to exist on this planet. The only reason something this obscene exist on this planet is because we are a planet of clueless fucking morons. But we're going to dial down a little bit from cruise ships to, uh, to jet skis. Now, I usually save my, you know, my ranting rage for, for these fucking airboats. Uh, but going hand in hand with these goddamn airboats are these much more popular things called jet skis. I, I know you know what, they're like snowmobiles uh, on the water. Any canoeist or kayaker knows about these motherfucking jet skis. Uh, good fucking God, they're... they're you know, just on a just on a lesser scale, these goddamn things are are just like the miniature version uh, of, of these fucking cruise ships. They the only reason that a jet ski was ever invented is because we are a planet of clueless fucking morons. Uh. But uh, here, here is one clueless fucking moron who will never get on a jet ski again. Dedicated father of four falls off jet ski and drowns during family's first Lake Tahoe trip. And he just looks like, Bill just looks like such a nice guy. A father of four drowned on what was his first trip to Lake Tahoe with his family, Bill Sue was knocked off a jet ski as the family visited the lake. 
from Concord, California, Alexi Ray, the victim's wife, said the pair had been riding a jet ski together when they were both knocked off the vehicle into the water by violent waves caused by strong winds. Yes, I want you to see this, this you know, this family of four, this is from, uh, this, this uh, I think is, is that goofy? This, this is uh, the proud family of four, uh, I guess, in Disney World. I, I mean, look at these two fat asses. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, both of them. I mean, how did one of these motherfuckers fit on a fucking jet ski? Uh, much less both of these fat asses. You know, imagine those two uh, walruses climbing up on one jet ski. The two of them could put a fucking cruise ship at the bottom of the ocean. I don't have any idea uh, how the fucking jet ski did not sink with these two tubs of fucking lard uh, get, getting up on them. Uh, wind my ass. They had uh, th th these fat ass clueless tubs of lard. Neither one of them had any fucking business uh, getting on a jet ski, m much less the two of them uh, climbing up there together. Y y you know, it's like in, in one of my tiny houses, uh, all I have is one twin bed measuring 39 inches wide. And th these couples renting it, and, and, and I see them getting out of their fucking cars and, and thinking, my God, you know, I warn people when, whenever uh, a couple rents a hummingbird with the one twin bed, I send them an e email and say, guys, you do realize there is one twin bed measuring 39 inches in here. And, uh, it, it, you know, I, I see these, the, 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 these goddamn mounds of adipose tissue uh, trying to get out of their fucking cars. And I'm thinking, my God, how is one of them going to fit on that little bed, much less two of them? I can't believe that the bed frame hasn't collapsed. Uh, well, I guess they're going to stop breeding at four children. Um, yes. Uh, so they have a GoFundMe page. Uh <clears throat> You know, talking about, this is from <clears throat> his gold, his GoFundMe page, quote, <clears throat> Bill loved to take his family to Disneyland. He was a master navigator of the park. We have a master navigator of Disneyland. Uh... <laughs> No longer able. We have lost a master navigator of Disneyland. He was committed to bringing the magic back home for his kids long after leaving the park. And he was an avid athlete. Yes, uh, l looking at that fine physique. Bill was an avid athlete. I guess he was a contender for the Coney Island hot dog eating contest. Oh, Jesus. Thinning of the herd. Thinning of the herd. Dead vegan fruitarians. Cruise ship passengers jumping off or falling off or whatever really happened to her. These t 
tubs of fucking lard climbing up onto these goddamn jet skis. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> anyway. Well, I will <clears throat> forever give up trying to find one mention of uh, Earth Overshoot Day behind all of the articles about thinning the herd <clears throat> of clueless morons living on this planet. Uh, got a busy weekend. <clears throat> People moving in. We have a... In this cabin, uh, we have a couple celebrating their third wedding anniversary. They have searched far and wide where to celebrate their third wedding an anniversary and have thought that this cabin just looks like just the romantic getaway that they've been dreaming about. So uh, we all know what will be going on in this cabin while I'm sitting down there in my twin bed alone with my thumb up my ass and uh, in the other cabin in Seahorse up the hill. So we have the third wedding anniversary here. <clears throat> and we have a couple from Pittsburgh uh, on their way to a wedding where uh, more clueless morons tying the knot to begin their futures together. Yeah, I am so happy to be providing romantic getaways here in the end times. Get out there and enjoy your romantic getaways while you still can. Pa and Oh yeah, Pasquale, speaking of romantic getaways, Pasquale, if you are listening to this, would you please check your email? <clears throat> I need to talk to you about your visit. Anyway, Pasquale is coming to see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and while he still can. All right. <clears throat> your old vacation rental super host is back to work. Bye, guys.